Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. I've titled this part of the Andalusian Cadence series as the funky versions. So the funky versions basically use a 16th note phrasing which divides the beat by four. That's what 16 notes do. One E and a two E and a... Then there's a lot of syncopation between the two hands. So with funky music, the right hand and the left hand almost never meet. They almost play the piano in a very percussive like uh, or, or tabla like manner you know you go stuff like this the hands are never meeting unlike the earlier patterns where you would find that the left hand plays something very f uh, specific and then the right hand you know goes crazy or whatever else you know uh, here the two hands almost never meet they are syncopated rhythms as I would call them so I'm going to teach you two funky rhythm patterns in this lesson the first one goes like this so let's just break that down first of all the right hand E and a two E and a two a E and a two E and a two and pa ba pa pa da 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 pa pa bum bum pa pa bum the the chord progression again D minor C major B flat major A major that's the Andalusian cadence so now check out the left hand so I hope you've got the right hand accents which are E and a two Let me try and get you only the right hand with some snapping with my left hand, thumb. So that's your right hand. The left hand goes. So left hand is quite intricate because it's trying to find in those missing beats. Okay, so you need to, I think, follow the hit points mentioned in the uh, diagram, in the notation and the instruction chart. Let me slow it down. So, one E and a, two E and a, one E and two, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. So, you could do one E and a, two or one e and a two e and a one e. so the so let's slow that down even more pa, 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 pa. build it now you could do pa, 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 or which I told you earlier. And at the end of the progression, you could add like a... which is A, G, F, E. When you do, try to keep the independence going in the right hand to not lose the rhythm there. So... That is funky rhythm number one, guys. Um, so, 
If you want to make the right hand a bit interesting before we sign off with this rhythm, you go. You could actually play the very next inversion and come back. Creates a very melodic movement, doesn't it? Beauty of this rhythm is sounds good even if you play it slowly. <laughs> the groove is still there. Moving on to funky rhythm pattern number two. So let me first play you the pattern and then explain. Right. Again, 16th note based. So the right hand goes. Okay, the bass is again filling in the missing beats of the right hand, creating an interesting pattern between the root, the octave and the middle fifth. So D. It's very difficult for me to count it while playing it. So the notation is up there for you uh, guys. So check it out. I will slow it down though. Right hand, pa, 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 same thing. And that's the the fifth one when you add it, it's it's more like a ghost. So do it a bit choppy. Staccato. Slow. Could also be a little reggae if you slow it down. That was the second funky rhythm pattern, and I'm going to leave you with this uh, Andalusian cadence series by giving you another song which I think falls under the uh, funky category that would be, well, this rhythm in the left that one you may know it's all you may get it it's quite familiar, isn't it? Big in Japan, Alphaville that that one. So, so I would recommend that you play this rhythm in the left hand. Almost disco. And the right hand goes pulse, 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 pulse. Could do that at the end if you want. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That concludes pretty much all the Andalusian cadence ideas. So in this lesson series, we have gone through the well, the theory behind the Andalusian cadence, the one, the seven flat, the six flat, and the five. We kept using that. We've used the key of D minor 
I would encourage you to practice on other keys as well. E minor is great. G minor is great as well. And we looked at a variety of things um, to use this cadence. We started off with some very basic left hand and right hand interactions. If you remember, just the left hand and the right hand interplay. Then we looked at some arpeggios. Simple arpeggios. Then we spent a lot of time on arpeggios, which I tend to do. We looked at arpeggios on different timings, different time signatures. And we looked at some more complex arpeggios where I gave you a left hand pattern to help you with some, to, to serve as a platform for something nice in the right. Then we looked at, well, we looked at some double octave arpeggios where the right hand and the left hand play two arpeggios but at different speeds, different inversions and bring out some melodies. Then we stole some, some ideas from some great songs like Feeling Good, Believer and other famous songs like the Michael Jackson song Who Is It and so on and so forth. We also looked at some traditional flamenco stuff which you would otherwise hear more from a guitar player playing a Spanish or a nylon string guitar. We also looked at some very funky stuff and uh, we also looked at some thematic stuff. We looked at things which you could perhaps use or add for a movie theme like idea. I hope you've gone through all the parts and uh, it's been a lot of fun producing this series for you. Uh, I've written down like a huge booklet of each and every one of these rhythms with my handwritten notes. It's been notated for you. And uh, yes, please download, get a copy on our Patreon. It'll also help us do further lessons. Your support will mean a lot for our channel. So patreon.com slash Jason Zach. You could also record yourself playing any of these uh, challenges or any of these Andalusian cadence rhythm patterns. Send it to us on Instagram, tag me and I will go through it and definitely consider sharing it as well whenever, whenever we can. Thanks a ton for watching. Again, this is Jason from Nathaniel. Cheers and see you in the next one.